Hello plant lovers, so as I told you in the ginger uh, harvesting video, this year we'll be uh, planting more ginger plants. So for this we'll be needing few of the tissue paper and few ginger rhizomes. And these ginger rhizomes, these are the eyes which will actually give birth to new saplings. So these are the rhizomes which we need and we'll be cutting those. So with one ginger rhizome we can have multiple uh, saplings. So to facilitate plant growth, we'll actually uh, spray it with water and we'll uh, cover it with one more tissue paper on the top. So once this is done, we'll actually seal it in and keep it in the dark case. Logic, simple, we are stimulating the same thing which happens in the soil. Because soil, if we uh, place these rhizomes, then it will be the same thing, right? So we'll be creating the same environment here. So we'll keep this in the dark case for the next couple of weeks. As you can see, it has sprouted in the last one month. So this is how the ginger rhizome will be there after sprouting. So these are the things which will generate and it will become into a new plant. So we'll be using individual rhizomes to create or to grow ginger. So we have 10 ginger rhizomes which will give rise to individual plants and uh, I'll be using this reusable bags which I have been using for the past couple of years. So we'll be filling this bag, half of it, because this rhizome doesn't need too much of depth, it needs wide area to spread. So we'll be uh, planting this rhizome horizontally. So in next 8 to 9 months, this will become complete huge plants and it will be ready to harvest. And for more such content, don't forget to follow Biotech Mali.